Welcome. In a previous video, I took a look at this watchdog water alarm. I'll put a link in the description of my previous video on this. And I'll also put a link in the description to where you can buy this on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this isn't going to pertain to everyone who needs a water alarm, but I'm going to go over a way you can figure out where you should put your water alarm. So there is a wire here. It's a six foot long wire, so you could mount this on the floor and mount this up high. You can also add 200 feet to that wire, so you could have the alarm unit separate from the sensor. So this is my furnace and water heater area, and I have the pressure valve on the water heater right here, so water could come out of that. And then the condensate drain is this PVC, and it comes out in this corner. So there's water from both of these that I want to uh, monitor over here, if either of these are leaking. So I could get two alarms and put one here and one here. But I'm going to show, I'll pour some water here and we'll see where it drains and then we can put the uh, alarm in the path of where it's draining. So this isn't going to work for everyone, but if you're in a basement, um, you know, it's unfinished like this, you can dump a little water on the floor and see where it goes and you can throw a fan on it to dry it up or mop it up if you want. So I'll go pour some over there and we'll see where it moves. Okay, so I dumped some water over here by the water heater. I dumped some by the condensate drain, and it both drained into this area right here. So that would be a pretty good area to put the water alarm because we know that the water is going to drain into that area. I could potentially put it down here somewhere too, but it's kind of in the middle of the floor and it could get knocked over. I've put it up against this wall here, but I think this is probably a better place right there. And I'll even probably make some marks with a permanent marker there so I remember where to place it. So I'll go set it down there and you can see how it works. Okay, so I had to pour a little more water down there because this needs a 32nd of an inch of water to be activated. So, and if you haven't seen my other video, I put the tape over there to make it a little bit quieter because I don't need it to be quite as loud. So it mutes it a little bit. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.